in this video we are going for forecasting video forecasting errors or forecasting deviation is defined as the difference between the demand actual demand and the forecast it can be a positive value or it can be negative value depending upon the value of demand or the value of forecast if the value of demand is more than forecast forecast error is positive and if the demand is less than forecast the demand the error will be negative and if demand equal to forecast in that case you may get a error equal to zero so if demand equal to forecast then the error will be equals to zero and if demand is less than forecast then we have a negative error in our model we want to reduce the errors either positive or either negative there are number of ways for types of forecasting error the very first one is the running sum cost error now as the, the name indicate it is the sum of the forecast error so sum is stands for sigma and error error stands for minus f general rsf is by summation of di minus fi the second type of error which normally we count is mean absolute deviation now absolute deviation is same as the uh, absolute error and whenever you have to find out mean we will add all the deviations divided by the number of sample data in short it is written as mad and is given by so to find out mean we have to take the sum so, so we can define it as like this as it is the average of all absolute deviation or we can say absolute error which can be written as mod of di minus fi so it is the average of forecast error so mad as the name indicate it's a mean absolute so we have to take sigma we have to take the absolute value of all deviations divided by the number n sigma divided by n will normally give the mean and since it's a absolute so we are writing the mod sign the another performance parameter is called as mean square error again means means sum squared so whatever the error is there we have to square that error you have to add it and you have to divide it by number of sample points in general it is defined as the average of the square of all errors in the forecast so msc is given by sum because we want to take the mean it's a error square so this a di minus fi whole square and since we want mean so we'll divide it by the sample number equals to n n is data points the fourth point that you have to calculate is bias bias whether the data is on the positive side or on the negative side it is also called as the mean forecast error so whenever the mean is there you always remember you have to take the sum and divided by n now this is a mean means sum of forecast error bias is something like this is a measure of overestimation or we can say underestimation positive bias means that the underestimation that is a forecast will be less than the demand and the negative bias means that the forecast is more than the actual demand or in other words we can call it as overestimation now since it's a mean value so bias is given by sigma of error error is di minus fi and you have to divide it by n now finally the important term is called as tracking signal so tracking signal monitors the performance of the forecast model and indicates whether the model need to be revised or will be continue with the same model there is always a upper limit for the tracking signal value it is normally calculated using the three times square root of msc if the tracking signal value goes beyond this value that is the upper limit then model need to be revised and if the value is less than this then the model is okay the tracking signal is the the tracking signal is given by the ratio of rsfe that is running sum of forecast error divided by mean mad so we have these relations of forecast error rsfe mad then we have msc and one more is bias and finally we have tracking signal so take we we'll take we'll take one sample numerical based on this one let's say we have three period data period demand and forecast period is 14 15 16 demand is constant 100 This one is a gate numerical. This is the forecast is 75, 87.5, 93.75, and let calculate all these parameters here. So first of all, we'll calculate error, which is 100 minus 75 is 25, 100 minus 87.5 is 12.5, 100 minus 93.75 is 6.25. So we can calculate running sum of forecast error. So you have to simply add the all errors. So is 25 plus 12.5 plus 6.25. So our answer is 43.75. Now we'll calculate MAD. For MAD, we have to calculate the absolute deviation of the errors. Since our all errors are positive, so we have same value in this column. That is 25, 12.5, and 6.25.
Select calculate MAD using the given formula. We have to take the sum of absolute errors divided by sample points. So it is same value as 43.75 and we have sample equals to 3. So 43.75 divided by 3 that is 14.58. Then we will calculate MAC. For MAC we require the square of error. So 25 square is 625. 12.5 square error is 156.25 and 6.25 a square is 39.062 or we can so we can calculate mac as sum of square of all this quantity so 625 plus 156 plus 39.625 plus 156.25 plus 39.063 divided by three data points now most commonly used error is mac that value is come out to be 273.4 next we'll check for bias Bias is nothing but the average value of errors. Errors we already collected in the first column. So that sum is known to us in RSFE is 43.75. Divided by the sample data is N because we want to find out average. So this value come out to be same as 14.58. And finally we will calculate tracking signal which is the ratio of RSFE divided by MAD. RSFE we got 43.75 and mean absolute deviation we got 14.58. So tracking signal come out to be 3 times. In a time series forecasting model, the demand for a 5 time periods was 10, 13, 15, 18 and 22. A linear regression model is given by a forecast equal to 6.9 plus 2.9 T, where F is the forecast for the period T. We want to find out the absolute deviation for the 5 data and the period stands for 1, 2, 3. Absolute deviation is sum of, uh, sum of di minus fi so we'll prepare one table here which consists of column first column is period second column is demand third column is forecast and the fourth column will consider for error forecast we have to calculate as f equals to 6.9 plus 2.9 times t forecast error is given by demand minus forecast and one column will make for absolute value that is absolute sign of demand minus forecast so we have given 5 periods so we will write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 the respectively the demands are 10, 13, 15, 18 so we have 10 demand then next month is 13 next month is 15 next month is 18 and the last month we have 22 forecast you have to calculate using this equation so in this equation we put for t equal to 1 then we will get a forecast for the first period so 6.9 plus 2.9 into 1 will be 9.8 for second period we will put t equal to 2 so we have 6.9 2.9 multiplied by 2 equals to 12.7 for third period we will continue the same 6.9 multiplied by 2.9 multiplied by 3 so third period we have to put for 3 15.6 likewise we continue for t equal to 4 our answer will be 18.4 and for period 5 you have to substitute as 5 your answer will be 21.4 to calculate error 10 minus 9.8 will be 0 0.2 13 minus 12.7 is 0 0.3 15 minus 15.6 is 0 0.6 is basically minus 0 0.6 is 0 0.4 minus 0 0.4 22 minus this is 0 0.6 so you have to since consider all positive value so we have 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.6, 0 0.4 and 0 0.6 in the numerical it is just asked to calculate the sum so we'll just do the sum here so sum will be come out to be 0.2 plus 0.3 is 0.5 0.5 plus 16 will be 2.2